Doctors are still learning about the long-term effects of the coronavirus weeks and months after people get sick. And some of those problems are neurological. And as Dr. Malcolm Marshall tells us, they may be more common than we thought. Maria Manfredini and her fiancé were planning their dream wedding in Italy when the pandemic hit. Forced to cancel, they took a quick trip to Arizona in June and came home with COVID-19. No smell, no taste, um, horrible body aches, and it really attacked my legs, uh, horrible leg pains. Six months later, the 35-year-old is still not feeling well. Her worst symptoms, leg pain and brain fog. It's extremely frustrating because everybody, the first thing they tell me is, well, you look great. You, you can't be sick. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted. I'm in pain. Neurological symptoms can be common with COVID-19. New research from a Northwestern Medicine study looked at more than 500 hospitalized patients and found 82% had neurological issues while they were sick. Muscle pain, headache, encephalopathy, which means alteration of uh, mental function, going from mild confusion all the way to coma, dizziness, disorder of smell and taste. Dr. Igor Koralnik oversees the NeuroCOVID clinic at Northwestern. Most patients are long haulers like Maria, young, previously healthy, had less severe COVID, and still suffering with issues. Lingering and fluctuating over time, sometime lasting months. The general trend is for people to improve over time. They think I'll fully recover, which is, you know, fantastic. But at the end of my um, appointment with him, I just broke down again and, and thanked him. Maria and her husband were married in September. She's trying alternative treatments like vitamin infusions and diet and says some of her symptoms are improving. The study also found that hospitalized patients had more serious neurological problems like seizures and strokes and movement disorders, yet those were less common. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News.